Hey, and welcome to Dirty Lazy Girl, a podcast that offers realistic girlfriend support and problem solving for imperfect people. You don't have to be perfect to be successful. Every week, we'll give you unconventional, dirty, or lazy problem solving strategies. Let's get started. Welcome to the Dirty Lazy Girl podcast. And today's challenge is why you should use the good stuff now. Here's why. I have a very expensive bottle of wine, Stephanie, sitting on my counter for how, guess how long? <laughs> Two years. <laughs> because it's expensive. I keep waiting for like the perfect occasion, you know, like, oh, what well, has to be an anniversary or a special promotion. And it just never comes. And the irony is that by the time I open it, it'll probably taste really bad because I know I probably haven't stored it right like you're supposed to. <laughs> So it's just like, why am I doing that, Stephanie? Like, why am I, you know, I guess if I go deeper down, it's that I don't deserve it. Like, I don't, I don't feel like I'm worthy of that, like, you know, $60 bottle of wine. Yeah, it's really, I know, super fancy. So yeah, there's more to it. <laughs> Well, I, I totally know where you're coming from with this one, mm -hmm. Tamara, because I think one of the most surprising lessons that I learned along my weight loss journey was just like I kept saving things for another day. And I think mm -hmm. it, like you said, it had to do with more about self-respect. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, what this kind of looked like in my journey is I realized my needs really mattered. And even if I wasn't going to put it in the forefront, sometimes I just really needed to force myself to. Um, and I know it sounds a little hokey pokey, but I had to keep telling myself, you know, that little song, baby, I'm worth it. Yes. Baby, I'm worth it. <laughs> like I had to kind of sing that to myself like almost every day and force mm -hmm. myself to do things that would prove that to myself. And that's kind of what I wanted to get into today. Yeah. So for today's topic, baby, I'm worth it. <laughs> We're going to offer seven dirty and lazy ways to use the good stuff now. And for each, we'll explain how this strategy benefits your self-esteem. But first, a quick break. Well, one of the ways I learned to put myself first and prove that baby I'm worth it was to spend more time in the kitchen cooking. I know. So I've shared all of my recipes with our listeners and you can check them out in the Dirty Lazy Keto Cookbooks. This one is the No Time to Cook Cookbook, um, but the first and the second cookbook, they're all together in a package right now at Costco. I know. My husband just left Costco in Oakland, California, and all three are there. So all my recipes are here. This is how I got started, and uh, I want to help you guys out too. So check it out. If you need links other than places at Costco, you can go to DirtyLazyKeto.com. Awesome, because we're worth it. <laughs> okay, Stephanie, let's get started with our seven unconventional ways to use the good stuff now, and we'll explain how each of these ideas tied to our self-esteem. Okay, now this one is totally crazy, I know. But I think number one, we have to make our meals fancy. And so for me, what that looked like, Tamara, is I decided to start using my silver, like my fancy grandma silver, like every single day. That's cool. Because <laughs> you know, I have my wedding china in Do a cupboard. It? I literally, the other day I took it out and had this much dust on it. And, I, and I've been married for 30 years. And I'm like, what am I waiting for? I don't know. It's so pretty. It's like a lily. It has this lily on it. I love the pattern. And I'm like, I don't I wonder how many of our listeners have wedding china, wedding silver, yeah. wedding crystal, like all that fancy pants stuff. Yeah. And it's all like buried in some cabinet, like you yeah. said, with dust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have yeah. you ever used it for a meal? Do you ever cook like a holiday? Rarely. Rarely. And I, I think that's what I'm going to, you know, I need to bring it down off the high shelf and, you know, to the everyday dishes and start using it. I did move some bowls because I just ran out of bowls. So I've been using the bowls and, you know, I, I, it's, it's a little nice memory and it makes you feel really like a worthy person because, you know, there's something that makes you feel not worthy is you know the paper plate and plastic fork <laughs> you know, right not that you yeah can't no, you occasionally totally do that the paper you know, plate is a serious issue yeah, and I we're mean, all you know we all do it right i mean yeah yeah it's a lot easier but then yeah. we worry like oh we're gonna break our china we're gonna scratch it like yeah. i've been using my silver now for probably i don't know like two years 
-hmm. But a couple of times my husband has taken a spoon in the car to eat oatmeal on the way to work. And I'm all, (gasps) you know what I mean? Like, don't take it out of the house. But things like that might happen, right? Yeah. Or I might go down the garbage disposal. But you know what? There are websites now that you can get pieces of any china practically any china pattern my mom did that because she she actually uses her good china and yeah so she's like oh no there's websites and i'm like oh okay (laughs) it's not the end of the world right that's kind of what you're saying yeah and what are you saving it for exactly because i feel better about myself when i eat my yogurt in the morning with the silver spoon i'm telling you i feel fancy yeah and it makes me just honor myself and it reminds me baby i'm worth it yes should, yeah it just yeah. is a little tiny yeah. um, boost to my self-esteem yes and there's something wrong about drinking wine out of a paper cup <laughs> that should not be it feels, done. Very, it feels very alcoholic <laughs> you said it not me <laughs> <laughs> let's well, move on ne- to number two yes our next one's similar <laughs> <laughs> that's to wear clothes <laughs> in quotes wear clothes <laughs> yeah is what we're wearing in these COVID days considered clothes? <laughs> clothes. Well, yeah. I don't know about you, but Tamara, but I have like a ton of work clothes in my closet that aren't really in rotation. Um, I keep saving stuff, like in the dry cleaning bag. I've got tags on things and I'm like, oh, I should save that, you know, for when I go somewhere special and I don't go anywhere. <laughs> so no. what's the deal? Then I end up not feeling good about myself if I'm wearing clothes that aren't like fitted or stained. You know what I mean? It kind yes. of affects the way you feel about yourself and yes. then how you treat yourself in terms. Yes. yes. You should throw out those holy yeah. underwear or jeans or whatever and rip open the dry cleaning bag. Yeah, I I have to admit, I have at least three things in dry cleaning bags right now. I have a jacket I've I seen... bought like a year ago and I still haven't worn it. And it's yeah. so cute. It's purple. It's a raincoat. Yeah. But it's more for work. And I'm like, well, I'm not you know, working from home right now. So yeah. I don't really have the need for the raincoat, even though it's so cute. Yeah. But you feel better when you do, don't you think? I do. Like, I know for this podcast, I have this cashmere sweater. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm wearing right now. It's pink. Mm-hmm. And I bought it in November for the holidays. And I kept thinking I'll wear it, you know, for a special occasion on the holidays. Mm-hmm. And I never freaking wore it. And now here <laughs> we are like four or five months later, and it was still in my closet. And I took the tag off today and put it on and it's itchy. <laughs> And I would have returned it. So I'm really kind of mad at myself. Oh, no. Now it's too late. She probably discounted cashmere ill-fitting sweater. (laughs) Well, that's a practical reason to wear your clothes then. Then you'll find out if you hate them or not. (laughs) That's true. But it does make me feel kind of fancy. Putting on like a nice quality garment that I invested in. Yeah. I think that's great. My goal is to... When I find something that's beautiful and nice and really comfy, like it has all the boxes, then buy more of those and get rid of my other stuff. And just, yeah, it's find my thing, but a good thing. I have a friend who has boots in like six different colors, the same boots. And I'm like, why would you do that? She's like, they're fabulous. They're so (laughs) cute. They're comfortable. I can wear them with everything, jeans, boots, glasses, you know, whatever. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know people did that. So I think that's smart of you yeah and then you'll you'll wear it because you mm-hmm. have five other pairs <laughs> exactly um, the the third one is similar and that is to stop hiding the good jewelry <laughs> the good jewelry yeah mine is hiding camera it. i'm still not wearing it i tried for the podcast yeah and i ended up putting on my junk jewelry <laughs> i still can't force myself to do this because i'm thinking what if i lose it like my mom used to have yeah. a diamond and she wore it around her neck and she came out of the mall one day and was putting her scarf on or off yeah. or whatever. It was in the snow in Michigan. Mm-hmm. And it caught on her necklace, flew off, and her diamond oh, no. pendant flew off into the snow and ice on the ground. And we were mm-hmm. all on the ground crawling around trying to find it. And it was lost forever. So oh, I keep thinking yeah. that, Tamara, so I won't wear anything. But nice. then you never wear it. I don't. Yeah. I need to work on this one. Yeah. I think you got to quit thinking about it. <laughs> being lost because what's the what good does it do you sitting in a box nothing well do you wear your good jewelry yeah I this one I'm actually pretty good about well I have my good jewelry is relative well you know (laughs) know, I like as good good as we can get right like I have 
my good costume jewelry, but right? no, I don't have all, a, this a, is my good Kohl's necklace <laughs> that I don't wear very often. Because it's very fancy yeah. from Kohl's. Yeah, but I like I like jewelry a lot, and so I I'm not afraid to like I feel a little naked without jewelry. Like I actually surprised I don't have anything on today, but usually um, I'll yeah, put on jewelry because that makes me feel good. Yeah, and I'm not you know what maybe I'm not worried so much about it because I don't have so many diamonds. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying I do either. <laughs> but how does it make you feel? Though? I'm curious since I'm not a uh, real good at this one. I mean, how does it make you feel when you put on your quote unquote good jewelry? Does it yeah. affect the way you treat yourself and the way yes. you see yourself? Yeah, yeah it, it makes me feel, um, well, for one, jewelry for me is more my personality. Like I like bigger, bolder jewelry and that's more who I am or more ethnic jewelry, stuff that is me. So it feels more myself. Like I just feel like I blend into the crowd with, and jewelry for me is just like the little highlight of who I am. So that's it makes me feel more in line with my personality jewelry for me. So that's one I'm a little bit better about maybe because it has that kind of meaning for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I can tell even the way you talk about yeah. it gives a big boost to your self-esteem. It does. Like yeah. it makes you feel kind of proud and you stood up really yeah. tall in the way you yeah. described yourself. Yeah. So I think it's a great strategy for our listeners who are struggling mm -hmm. in this area. You know, if they don't want to use their China or silver for eating, but maybe the, the fancy clothes that are in the, yeah. you know take the tags off or putting on yeah. rings or bracelets it does yeah. give yourself a little boost a big boost and it's kind of like that fake it till you make it right like mm -hmm. you may not feel like dressing up or you know but once you put it on it will give you the feeling that you want yes that's yeah. the whole point yeah exactly well this is another one Tamara. i learned from you number four um okay about using real deal ingredients. Oh, yeah. And this one is coming from the kitchen. We were doing a chapel episode, Tamara, yeah. and we were talking about ingredients, and you were using your real vanilla. Yes. And I was like, what is real vanilla? <laughs> I had no, I was like, what is she talking about? <laughs> because you're putting like four teaspoons, and I'm like, I was putting in so much vanilla, you... and it was because I had this crappy vanilla. It was like the dollar store vanilla. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, you got to get some real vanilla. It's really Well, I yummy. did. I upped my game after that episode. Yeah. I went to Costco and bought a real vanilla. You know, it was like yeah. 20 bucks. Can but it's changed it my world. It yeah. is rocking my world. I eat now and I taste things that I've never tasted before. <laughs> so, and that's a fun way. Like if you're struggling with dieting, it's a, f and you're like, oh, I don't like my vegetables or I don't like this. Yeah. It's a fun way to dress it up and Experiment. Make you feel kind of special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of that carry gold butter people are in love with. Yeah. You know, on keto. And I was like, yeah, whatever. It's stupid. Just buy your own butter. <laughs> but I tried it the other day. I got it in a gift basket from yeah. Christmas. And holy moly, it does taste pretty good. Yeah. I may have been wrong. I'm just going to yeah. admit it. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty well, damn tasty. And that's why, like, you know, we did the whole coffee episode and I get like really goofy about, you know, the filtered water and this little thing. But you know, for me, that's something I like. So yeah. upping my game with like real quality ingredients makes me really enjoy it. And I think, you know, as we're saying throughout this whole thing is that I'm worth the little extra for the good coffee. Right. You know, or the ground coffee as opposed to the whole bean coffee as opposed to the, you know, Folgers. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. Yeah. All these little things make a difference in the way we treat ourselves and, you know, baby, I'm worth it. Yes, I can yeah. have, you know, the rings on today or a real diamond or cashmere or real coffee. And I think in turn, that's the whole point of the, the podcast episode today. And for me, it makes me have a better sense of self and a higher self-esteem. And then I treat myself better. I yeah. exercise more. I eat better vegetables. I get more sleep because I start thinking of myself as worth it. Yeah. Do you yeah. feel like it connects or am I yes. kind of reaching? I don't know. No. And I think some people, and I fall guilty of this, they think the opposite. Like I have to beat myself up and tell me how bad I am. And that's going to motivate me to exercise and eat right. But it actually does the opposite. Yeah. And so when you instead tell how yourself how great you are, you praise yourself for your choices and you give yourself luxurious things, it actually makes you eat healthier because like, oh, I, I should eat healthy because I'm I've got this great body and I got this great, I'm this great person. 
Yeah, so, it's like yeah. working at it from the inside out kind of a, or yeah. outside in, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, so you, we have warp thinking. We just don't realize it. Being that's, hard that's on yourself thing. doesn't work. No, it doesn't. It's it all doesn't. about faking it till you're making it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and doing these weird, unconventional, kind of yes. wacky approaches yes. to problem solving. Yes. You and I have it all figured out. Damn, <laughs> and by the way, you don't have to spend a ton of money. I mean, that vanilla I got in Mexico for $4 because you can get real vanilla cheap there. But, you know, there if, if there are all kinds of little things in the kitchen, like, like you can get Himalayan salt, which by the way, is also very good. I don't know if you tried that, <laughs> the pink Himalayan salt in a thing, you can get it at, you know, one of, the, one of those uh, off brand markets for like three bucks and you've totally gave yourself a little boost. I've been kind of discovering herbs, fresh herbs lately. Mm -hmm. And at the dot, we have a 99 cent only store in our area, which sells um, like discounted fruits and vegetables. But I've been able to get these fresh packs of herbs for 99 cents. And I've been oh. chopping them with scissors like dill into sour cream or onto um, uh, mayonnaise and then dipping artichoke leaves in it or cooking, mm -hmm. cooking salmon. And I'm like in love with all these herbs yeah. that I've never had before because I thought they were too pricey. Yeah. Who knew? You can even grow them. They're not that expensive. No. And it looks nice on your plate. And I think part of when you're on like a, when you're on a diet, you're like, ah, oh, diet food. But then you see this beautiful salmon with this fancy dill on it, you know, like fresh dill. It really changes your perspective and you don't see dieting as a drudgery. It's like, oh, I'm eating this awesome, fresh, tasty, gourmet thing. That's how I feel. Yeah. Every day I'm so grateful. Yeah. So number five, we're having some fun here. We got lots. And we still got more. <laughs> Get kind of creative. Yeah. This one's ooh la la linens. <laughs> ooh la la. Do you, do you use nice linens on a regular basis? Some I do and some I don't. Um, I just went through a towel crisis because a towel I have. crisis. Yes. People. This sounds really serious. Literally, they were in shreds. They were, I think I had them since we were first married. I'm like, Joe, how long have we had these? And he's like, oh, I don't know. So I'm like going to get the cheap ones. And I thought, why am I doing that? I'm going to use them for another 15 years. I might as well invest in a thick, nice one. And they weren't actually, I just went to like Ross or, you know, TJ Maxx, some of those department discount stores. And you could find some really, really nice quality ones at a decent price. So I did it with my bath towels, my sheets. I, I need to work on. <laughs> what about you? To work on your sheet game. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm full of sheet. You're full of sheet. Yeah. <laughs> now I agree. I think this is like an opportunity area for me as well. I had, I also had mismatched thread threadbare towels mm -hmm. for years and years. And a couple of years ago, um, when I got a promotion at work, I thought, oh, with my big raise of $100, I will buy new sheets or new towels, like linens. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the store to buy them. And I'm like, ah, what? excuse me? <laughs> they were so expensive. I wanted yeah. to cry. Yeah. You have to go to discount, discount stores. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the other day I did buy some, well, I should preface this mm -hmm. story. I bought some at Amazon because I thought, well, everything's cheaper at Amazon. Mm -hmm. And I used them for a while and they all got threadbare again. Oh. Yeah. So I'm not happy. So this time I reinvested. I'm on my yeah. second try and I'm, I bought some from Costco, which so okay. far is so good. But if our listeners have tips to keep our, our towels fluffy, please write in. I know. Because <laughs> I need them. They just don't last. They like, they yeah. start off fluffy and then not so fluffy. And you think about what towels do, you wrap, you use it every day, sometimes multiple times a day, wrapping around your, your naked body, you should have something soft and nice and absorbent. Like why of all things would we skimp on that? That is not the area to skimp on. Because no. you do feel really, really luxurious and makes yes. your body feel beautiful yes. when you're cleaning up and drying off with yes. wonderful towels. Yes. And linens, right? Hopping it's, in the in the sheets. It, it's the same with sheets. You spend what eight hours a night in there and it's itchy or you know, got the little cotton ball thing. Or you know? stained. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like yeah, we're worth it, right? Right. Get some we're worth cool, it. comfortable, silky sheets. <laughs> it, it's a all lot in. Easier. Yeah. Because it does make a difference. I think you feel better about yourself starting the day out and mm -hmm. ending the day. And yeah, uh, yeah we're worth it. Yeah, for sure. 
What about number six, Stephanie? Well, this one's transitioning from the sheets. Okay. <laughs> We're moving into yes. number six. Yes. This is to wear your good lingerie. And yeah. this doesn't have to be, you know, sexy lingerie. It can be the the everyday lingerie that yes. you wear underneath your clothes. Yes. But I don't know about you, Tamara, but I find myself saving the good underwear. Like I have a couple pair with the tags on and I'm not wearing them. What am I saving them for? <laughs> I don't know. Why I didn't am I not me. wearing them right now? Like every day is a day to celebrate being alive and feeling good about yourself. I need to wear my nice lingerie. I, I don't know. And same with my nightgown. I have, it's, it becomes the company nightgown or like when we go to what special. What is the company nightgown? <laughs> you have someone over and you know like staying you don't want to go out or your nice robe when we got married I got this beautiful silk robe I mean it was just gorgeous I don't think I wore it the first 10 years of my marriage because I was saving it (laughs) (laughs) and I finally got it out and started wearing it but I mean it shouldn't have taken that long you know like um, and these, I think especially the things like lingerie and sheets and towels because those are on your body for actually a long period of time like it really tells your tells yourself how you value yourself you yeah know what it's I mean? definitely a reflection if you're wearing yeah. the stained granny panties that tells you immediately yeah that you're not feeling that good about yourself no. right as opposed to wearing something that's more yeah. you know feminine or attractive or soft yeah. or clean for crying out loud <laughs> <Apples. laughs> threadbare not yeah. stained yeah. yeah i mean let's be real this is yeah. This is an area of opportunity for a lot of us to, to take a look at because we can easily influence the way we feel about ourselves yeah. by just making a couple of very small changes. Yeah. And I think for me, it's not public, so no one sees it. So I think that's why I justify, you know, not, you know, not wearing the nice stuff when it's just me. But actually, that's the that's the most important. That's time. the most. That's yeah, yeah. that's the biggest opportunity. Yeah. It, and then you're proving it's like you're thumbing it up your middle finger at the world saying this is just for me i feel <laughs> fabulous about yeah. myself in my yeah. seats in my wedding bathrobe <laughs> or whatnot that's awesome okay what's our last one stephanie this one might be a throwback to my childhood in the 70s but <laughs> Um, when I was young, everyone in my neighborhood had the fancy room that was only for company and right. it was covered in plastic. Like the sheets, I mean, not the sheets, the couch was covered in plastic. Yeah. There was like these rollers on the ground <laughs> and no one could ever go in there. Did that, I don't know, is this just my neighborhood? Yeah, no, I grew up that way. It's like a, a it's not a parlor, but it's that same, like, you know, that's yeah, way like back in the Victorian. Tiny room off yeah. the side of your front door and no one was allowed to go in there. So yeah. I think we should not save that pretty room for anyone else. We need to take over that pretty room, quote unquote, in your house and use it for yourself. It could be a guest room. It could be your living room. Yeah. For us, it was the dining room. The dining room. That was the fancy room. My mom had a chandelier. Oh, a chandelier. Oh, yeah. And this nice fancy table. And, um, but then we had the like everyday kitchen table. So we always ate there, but like, why are we eating? We never ate on it. Never. It was like wasted space. So yeah, but, but when you did sit at it, did you feel differently and eat differently? Yeah, yeah you felt interesting, you know, right? Yeah, more fancy. You feel kind of fancy and like better about yourself, and you sit taller and yeah, you know, put the table uh, linens in your napkin and your yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, do it, do it, do it now, people. Yes. I mean, life is short. We keep saying that, but really, you know, we have to do whatever it takes to improve our lives, to to feel good about ourselves, to improve our self confidence. Yeah. When I was preparing for this episode, I read a lot of really sad tales on the internet of people who die and they find their beautiful china unused. Uh, They have a beautiful, this one woman talked about her grandmother died and in her drawer were beautiful nightgowns that she never wore. And it's like, you know, I know this sounds morbid, but you know, don't do that. (laughs) Don't be that person. Right. And it's okay to break stuff. I know. I think that's been probably the biggest challenge for me throughout this all is I kept thinking, well, these are my grandmother's glasses she brought when she immigrated to the United States. I can't break them. I'm trusted with them. But guess what? No one's using them. So unless I enjoy these things now, no one ever will. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm curious what our listeners have to use the good stuff now. What do they have to say about that? 
Tell us your plan by emailing Stephanie at DirtyLazyKeto.com or through Facebook or Instagram at DirtyLazyKeto. Before we get to our final hack, let's stop and give Lava a break. <laughs> well, listeners, we want you to check out some healthy, fun recipes and start cooking in the kitchen. Uh, the Dirty Lazy Keto cookbooks are available at Costco, at Amazon, Barnes & Noble. You can order through links on my website, DirtyLazyKeto.com. I'm showing here the No Time to Cook cookbook. Um, but there's also uh, the first one, which was just the Dirty Lazy Keto Cookbook. And the second one is the Dirty Lazy Keto Dirt Cheap Cookbook. And so we've got options for everybody. So check it out. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> I think Mamba's now taken care of. <laughs> so let's wrap up today's episode by sharing our personal dirty or lazy hacks. What's yours, Stephanie? My hack for our listeners is to get rid of things in the closet that are damaged or don't seem to fit right. I think I deserve to wear clothes that make me feel fabulous and comfortable. And so what I've been doing is keeping a basket in the back of my closet. And as I come across things that need mending or repairing or hemming or any of that stuff, I'm going to just be honest and say, I'm not going to do it. So I toss it, toss it in the basket and get rid of it and send it to charity. And it's amazing how fast you forget you even had it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Once it's out of my, it's great. Great hack. Um, <clears throat> I, my hack is about changing your mindset. One of the things I think, one of the reasons some people don't use their good stuff is because they have a scarcity mindset. And by that, they mean they have to hold on. They have to hoard it because they may lose it all. You know, like my grandma grew up in the depression and she was that way. She hoarded everything. She never used stuff. She would, you know, never throw out. She'd have expired food and she would never throw at it, throw it away because she had that, you know, scarcity mentality. And I have a friend who does that, who has bottles and bottles of beautiful perf perfume and candles, never uses them. <laughs> so I guess the idea is to recognize if, if that's you, are you having the scarcity mindset and instead try to develop a more abundance mindset where you'll always have things, you're going to be fine, you're going to be, you know, you're not going to lose things. And if you do, you'll get it all back. So just try changing your mindset about things and holding on to things. Listeners, the big message today for our episode is that you might have to just fake it till you make it. By using the good stuff every day will make you feel luxurious, important, and valuable. Stop saving everything for when the Queen of England stops by, because she probably won't. So treat yourself like royalty and watch your self-esteem soar. And are you enjoying the Dirty Lazy Girl podcast? Show your support by leaving a review on Apple Podcasts. If you're listening on YouTube, Give the episode a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the Dirty Lazy Keto channel. And we love hearing your comments and reviews. And in fact, I wanted to share a quick comment written by Rhonda on YouTube. And Rhonda says, love your videos. They help me get motivated. Thanks, Rhonda. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Dirty Lazy Girl podcast. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you'll never miss a video, and we'll see you next week.